Hey guys, how's it going? It has been quite some time. Cheers to you. With my um, probably now cold. <sighs> Venti chai soy latte. <sighs> anyway, um, I had a couple of you actually on Twitter today <laughs> say, say something to me about like, hello. What's going on? I have been, um, well, I've been sick. I'll get to that in a second. I thought I had food poisoning. But I've just been, you know, with being so ridiculously sick, it's probably a shock for you guys, too, because I'm actually wearing makeup. I got myself all contoured and everything today. Kind of feel like a drag queen, but we'll see. Maybe because I'm just so used to not wearing makeup now, which is strange on a regular basis. I just you know, I'm going to the gym and I'm not, you know, getting all glammed up. And then when I do, sometimes it's just such a difference. Anyway, um, so yeah, I was sick, really sick. I'm, I'm beginning to think as I was setting up my camera equipment and thinking about being sick and going, dang, you know, it was last February at this time, for those of you that were tuning in back then, um, that I got strep throat and then I got, um, not bronchitis, strep throat, and then walking pneumonia, and then um, tonsillitis. And then of course I got the virus that I now just call, or the <laughs> ex-boyfriend that I now call a virus that <sighs> was worse than pretty much all three of those things combined. Oh, did I say that out loud? <gasps> Oops. Um, sorry, there's just some things that brought that up for a reason. Anyway, I, I was thinking as I was setting up my camera equipment, that um, maybe <laughs> considering I tend to always get sick in February, maybe I should just make sure that February is when I take, you know, a massive vacation. I'm always somewhere in the sun. That's a good idea anyway, whether you get sick or not. <sighs> anyway, that's damn good. I haven't had one of these in a while. Um, but anyway, to let you guys know, it's I'm sure it's been two or three weeks since I've done a vlog. And I just kind of, um, with being sick, being so out of it and yeah you know kind of being frustrated too at how being so sick and you know after the beginning of the year with all of the um i don't want to say delays but setbacks with the weather and being you know stuck in here i just feel like every time i get my fire going you know something kind of punches me and it it's been a little annoying you know there's been part of me where i'm like you know what i'm just i'm tired of trying to do it all and um I haven't been blogging and I and I just got to the point where it's kind of like with anything guys you know my nose is itching see now someone's gonna write me a note one time when I had a nose itching video or when I sneezed somebody wrote to me and said you must be on cocaine and I'm like yeah. good luck with that if every time you see somebody sniffling or sneezing you think they're on cocaine um, but anyway I, I just kind of have you know, I was starting to feel sorry for myself and going, God, you know, what is it? You know, with my ankle or whatever it is, ankle, Achilles thing, I'm going to get x-rays, not this week, but the week, next week. Um, you know, the end of the year, and then I had to stop my training, and then I gained some weight, and then I'm like all depressed about that, and then I started working out again, and then the ankle started bothering me again, and it's just, then it was the new year, and then I'm, you know, revived my gym membership, and I'm all excited because I can go to the gym, and then it's like first of the year, negative 52 degrees, don't leave your house, and then it was, you know, so warm that it, I already talked about this in my last video, it was so warm right after that first cold burst that we had the beginning of the year then it was so warm everything melted but then it became the city of ice outside and my car is i don't have an suv at the moment which pisses me off that's a whole other story um and my car when it's slushy or snowy or anything crazy like that is just like bambi on ice so then i was even more trapped in my house and then i finally you know get working out and feeling really good and then i get sick it was the week that i went to atlanta so um Actually, now that I'm thinking about this, it's probably by the time I upload this video, it'll probably be at least a month since I've shot a video. The world is really off kilter because of it, I know. Um, but I went down to Atlanta, I had some meetings, um, 
and I, I probably was starting to feel sick now that I think of it, you know, but more just kind of run down. Um, and I got home, I, I got into Atlanta Monday night. It was just a really intense um, travel week that week. Um, not the way that I normally plan my trips um, so that I could avoid getting sick. It was just kind of nonstop, like, you know, arrive in and dinner meeting and then breakfast meeting and then another meeting and then another meeting and then leave here and then go to dinner and then come home and then barely have, you know, five seconds and then you're out. I mean, I just, I don't operate well that way. And so by the time I got home that week, it was Thursday night. So this was, we're right now at the last week of February. This was the first week in February. Um, and I got home on Thursday night, got, had to get up the next day, packed day full of appointments and then I ordered sushi from this place I always get sushi from um, around 5 30 or 6 and I didn't feel well like I didn't feel my, my stomach was kind of like Ugh. but you know I hadn't eaten enough typical me you know I came home I'm, I'm still annoyed at myself when I let things like that continue to happen I still I don't plan I don't grocery shop accordingly and um, so I came home and I ordered sushi. I'm like, you know, haven't eaten enough today. Make sure you eat something. And it was like about an hour after I ate that I just started to get, whoa, I'm not feeling well. And I got a migraine and then I went and I took a bubble bath and I thought that would make me feel better. And then I don't know when it, what the timing exactly was, but suffice it to say that shortly after finishing my sushi, I was throwing up for more than 12 hours. And I thought at that point I was thinking, that I must have um, food poisoning or, or whatever, because I've had that. I don't know if any of you guys have had it. It's not pretty. I had, I think it was actually salmonella that I got from Portillo's here locally. It was in 2010, because um, it was at my last job and my ex-boss was kind of a douchebag about it. And don't worry, I told him that he was. Um, I don't, I just don't want you to think I talk about people behind their back. If I do, it's something I'd say to their face. So I'm just putting that out there. It's just my theme for life. Um, but I've had salmonella before or food poisoning, whatever you want to call it. And it's not pretty. And the thing about that is, is you get violently sick, or at least my thing was you get violently sick and throwing up and all of that. And then after that, your stomach is like this newborn baby that just can't handle anything. And I remember the only thing that would not make my stomach go into really bad cramping was um, like muffins and like really mild bread. And I kid you not, I think I went to Panera and they had like um, peach muffins or something. I mean, you can tell like once you eat so much of something, you, it totally turned you off. There's, there's actually like a diet book out about that, I think. They're like just if you want to get yourself off of something or get yourself hating something, just make yourself eat it relentlessly for a week. Well, I can tell you, I will never order a peach muffin again because that's all my stomach could tolerate for like, it was like four or five weeks. And if you do some Googling on food poisoning, they'll say, look, you know, it could take weeks for your stomach to get better. I thought I had food poisoning, but then I called the restaurant. I was throwing up, literally, I did not, I wasn't able to go to bed. I was throwing up. <laughs> You know when you throw up so much that you get to that point where you, you feel it coming and you're like, I, I don't have anything left in my body. And you know you're going to throw up. And you know how nasty it's going to be and it's just awful. Um, and I, yes, I'm not going to lie, the whole time I was like, I better lose a few pounds because of this. <laughs> Out of this suffering. So, um, puking and a puke, and I'm like, I will never have sushi again. Never! And I called the... Um, restaurant and they said you know nobody else had gotten sick and I remember I was on the phone like you know probably delusional by that time and I'm like oh sure no one else has gotten sick I was convinced it was food poisoning but on the other hand um, I do think if something was that like a foodborne illness or something um, it couldn't have just happened to one person um, I, I was waiting to find out the next day that the restaurant had been closed down, that a ton of people went home sick. Um, I don't think they could cover that up. So I did, they did call me back and they, they did say that nobody else had had a problem. So um, that plus the fact that I was really sick all weekend and then I've s certainly had a, a, a sensitive stomach. Like I've really had to still kind of eat nothing but bagels, 
Like I've kind of been living off of bagels and plain cream cheese for a while. And not because I wanted to eat bad food, just because the thought of eating anything like hard protein, you know what I mean? Like um, chicken or even my turkey meatloaf or fish or steak truly makes me want to throw up at this point. Like there's just, it would, to me it would be like somebody saying, why don't you eat that chair over there? I just, I, I, and I was, I'm sick to death of oatmeal. Um, I'm just going through a food phase. Like, I remember I told Courtney when we were at the gym one day, I'm like, what is wrong with me? Oatmeal and egg whites have always been, you know, my favorite part for breakfast. I don't want to eat oatmeal anymore. I'm so sick of oatmeal. And I think when I could finally eat, um, when I could finally keep food down after the, the, the massive weekend of hell, you know, I kept thinking, well, I need something. And I, I didn't want to, I was probably in a bad state. I was like, you know, scared that I was going to eat food like a bagel and cream cheese and gain weight. You know, my mind is still there. I can't lie. But I just didn't want oatmeal. And right now, I haven't had oatmeal for breakfast in several days. I've been having more like my egg whites and grapefruit and um, turkey bacon. But anyway, that was like 10 minutes of me telling you about throwing up. I hope you appreciated it. And now you're probably like, why did I write her and ask her to start vlogging again? <laughs> what can I say? Mm. I will say this, when you're sick too like that, you realize how much of a gift water is. Um, because I was so dehydrated and I remember I had to start just feeding myself ice chips and I would do one ice chip every 10 or 15 minutes and then one ice chip and a sip of water. And then I remember one time, it was about 5.30 in the morning and I took one ice chip and three sips of water and immediately, to tell you how raw my stomach was, three sips of water sent me over the edge and then I started puking again. So uh, yeah, it hasn't been fun. Um, and, I, and again, that was, um, it's probably been, what is today? Sunday? What is today? I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Sunday. Um, so I think it was two weeks ago, Friday. So I got sick on Friday, was really bad until Monday, started, you know, kind of getting better that week. And then even this week, this past week was really the week after I had to stop. Like when I would go to the gym, I'm like, there were several days I had to leave early and come home because I was just nauseated. I can't describe how I felt other than I would just get nauseated and I'd eat a meal and afterwards I was still feeling nauseated like I would take my vitamins so I finally just decided I'm not going to do any supplements not even my vitamins I mean not to say that they're bad it's just I think my stomach needs to go in phases to get back to the full Monty of you know protein powder and um, vitamins and CLA and all of that kind of stuff so anyway it is what it is so um that said that's kind of bringing you up to date on what's been going on this month it's been um ridiculously hectic that said um one of the things that i used to do a long time ago that is just a visual for me that really helps um, i went out and i bought a calendar just you know the kind of calendar you hang on the wall and i have it um if you go down the hallway this way uh is the way you go out to my my garage and so right when I come inside there I've got like a mud room a laundry room and that's where I hang up this calendar and I used to do this in my old old house um, it was inside my closet so I'd work out at home and I'd go in there and I would record what workout I did how many calories I burned and then I would rate my workout like three stars if it was just okay four stars if it was really good five st five stars to me is like kick-ass weights and cardio or just a kick-ass you know, total sweat fast. Um, four is damn good. Three is like, you really could have done better. So um, it's been nice because even this month with all the sickness going on, I started recording that. And it's just a, it's a constant visual for me to walk in there and write it down and be able to see the consistency and to know in my head, you guys, such simple little things can make such a difference. You know, when, when you know that you're on track, you want to keep going. You don't want to have three empty days there, you know, so you want to do something. It's just something that really helped me stay on track before um, and not go, you know, well, what have I been doing this week? Have I done this or have I done? It's really, really helped me just putting up that simple calendar, um, especially considering this month has been so crazy. So um, let's see. Hopefully, I'm going to upload this vlog and then I will be, you know, back. I might stick to, I think what I might stick to doing is just shooting 
um, YouTube videos and not worrying about my blog, so to speak, because <sighs> I, I just don't have time for everything. And um, we are leaving on Wednesday for the Arnold for Columbus. So it's going to be me and Courtney, who's competing in bikini. Um, she, I will, you'll see videos from um, me and her and her mom, Deb, who I just love. We've just, the three of us have been like the three musketeers at the gym. But um, it's really been cool for me to work out with both of them um, for myriad reasons, but also I really can't wait for you guys to learn more. Courtney's gonna be an ambassador with Fit Fluential now, and I just think at such a young age, she has such a good head on her shoulders, really understands um, the science behind you know, what she needs to do to get in, in shape for being on stage, and she's just so matter of fact about it, not messed up in the head like me. Um, and it's been really cool to watch her. You know, I remember she said, probably end of January, you know, she's like, I've got 13 pounds to lose before the Arnold. And she's just like, I'm going to do it. And I was like, God, you know, like I have 13, I probably have 15 um, to get even close to my first level of weight where I want to be. But, you know, she's just very matter of fact. And I've watched her kick ass and it's, it's really amazing. And she's really kept me going. And um, so that's going to be fun. You guys will have to tune in along the way. We'll shoot videos and we'll do the road trip um, highlights on Twitter and Instagram and all of that. But I'll put links to that later for right now. I need to go, um, because we're going out to a movie tonight and I have to grab some dinner and I have two or three things to do in my office. But hey, for those of you that said I haven't done this in a while, here's hello back to you and I will hopefully see you tomorrow or in two months, just kidding. <laughs>